Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's poster presentation, Rapid Biorep-Based Colorimetric Assay for Protein Quantification, presented by Ramesh Ganapathy, R&D Scientist 3, Protein and Cell Analysis, Thermo Fisher Scientific. I'm Alexis Krauss of LabRoots, and I will be your moderator for today's event. We are delighted to bring you this educational web seminar presented by LabRoots and sponsored by Thermo Fisher Scientific. For more information about our sponsor, please visit www.thermofisher.com. Before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that this event is interactive. We encourage you to participate by submitting as many questions as you want at any time you want during the presentation. Just click on the Ask a Question box located on the far left of your screen and type your questions into the drop-down box that appears on the screen. We'll answer as many of your questions as we have time for at the end of the presentation. If you have trouble seeing or hearing the presentation, please use the Ask a Question box to let us know that you're having a problem. This presentation is educational and thus offers continuing education credit. Please click on the Continuing Education Credits tab located at the top right corner of the presentation window and follow the process to obtain your credits. Please join me and welcoming Dr. Ramesh Ganapati, I will now turn the presentation over to him. Hello. Today, I would like to talk about a rapid biurate-based colorimetric assay for, pro for protein quantification. The simplest method for protein quantification is measuring absorbance at 280 nanometers. But this is suitable only for purified protein samples. Most cell biologists need to quantitate cell or tissue lysate samples. The dye-based assays, such as Bradford assays, are convenient, but they have poor linearity and poor protein-to-protein -protein variability. Thermo Fisher BCA assay is a copper chelator-based assay with exceptional linearity and low protein-to-protein -protein variability. A drawback with this assay is the long time to results. So users have to incubate this at 30 minutes at 37 degrees or for two hours at room temperature. The Rapid Gold BCA assay addresses that problem with shorter incubation time, which is five minutes at room temperature. It maintains the same linearity low protein-to-protein -protein variability, and high accuracy associated with BCA with shorter time to results. This is done exactly like the BCA assay. So how do we use the Rapid Gold BCA assay? So you pipe it 20 microliters of BSA standards and your unknown protein samples to a 96 well plate. The Rapid Gold BCA working reagent is prepared by mixing 49 parts of reagent A and one part of reagent B, which is the copper solution. 200 microliters of working reagent is then added to the standards and protein samples. The plate is incubated at room temperature for five minutes and the absorbance is read in an any standard plate reader at 480 nanometers. So we have traditional BCA, which is a highly trusted brand. We have the reducing agent compatible, which is compatible with reducing agents, which is shown in green. We have the micro BCA, which is used to measure small protein concentrations. So this is a high sensitivity product. This is shown in the box in red. And now we have another flavor, which is a short incubation time and room temperature incubate, incubation BCA assay, which is the rapid gold BCA. This works just like the BCA. 
protein complexes with copper 2 to form protein copper complex thus reducing copper 2 to copper 1 pca chelator then chelates to the reduced copper and the color changes from green to purple this purple color can be read at an absorbance of 562 nanometers with rapid gold bca we have a proprietary chelator which reacts exactly the same way with reduced copper but instead of a violet color it forms an orange brown color the absorbance of that color can be read at 480 nanometers and these results are obtained at room temperature incubation in 5 minutes so what we see from this graph is that we get the same signal intensity and the same linearity with the rapid gold bca which is shown in red to the traditional bca which is shown in blue the only difference is the rapid gold bca was done at room temperature in 5 minutes and the traditional bca was done at 37 degree c for 30 minutes so this is a way shorter uh, time to results now when compared to other 5 minute protein assays such as a 660 nanometer assay and comasi plus you can see that the rapid gold bca shows better linearity and higher signal intensity the rapid gold bca curve is shown in orange the comasi curve is shown in blue and the 660 nanometer assay curve is shown in green in the graph the rapid gold bca gives similar protein concentrations to unknown lysates as traditional bca we can see that the percent cv between these two assays is 5.42 so they give very very similar results with pure proteins also there is an agreement between the rapid gold bca and the traditional bca similar accuracy is seen between rapid gold bca and traditional bca and we see an 18.6% cv with bca and 13.7% cv with the rapid gold bca when compared to the theoretical concentrations so this theoretical concentration is how we measure accuracy and the theoretical concentrations for each of these protein mixes was obtained you by measuring absorbance at 280 nanometers another thing to note here is that we see very low protein to protein variability with rapid gold bca and bca with 14 different proteins the dye based assays show very high protein to protein variability which is undesirable so in conclusion the rapid copper chelation assay was developed 5 minutes at room temperature is sufficient to get good signal intensity with excellent linearity low protein to protein variability is seen with the new assay and there is an agreement with concentration values between the rapid gold bca and traditional bca in addition to all these features This is a highly accurate assay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you Dr. Ganapathy for that informative presentation. We will now start the live Q&A portion of the webinar. If you have a question you'd like to ask, please do so now. Just click on the ask a question drop-down box located on the far left of your presentation window. 
Type your question into the box that appears on the screen and click the Send button. We'll answer as many of your questions as we have time for. So let's get started. Our first question is, what is the compatibility of the Rapid Gold BCA? So the Rapid Gold BCA is compatible um, with detergents. So you can use um, any detergents up to um, 5%, uh, for example, 5% SDS. Um, it's compatible with most uh, of our lysis buffers, um, but um, it is not compatible with reducing agents. So if you have reducing agents in your sample, you need to remove that first before using the assay, or you can, you can go for other protein assays which are, not, which are more reducing agent compatible. Um, we also have a reducing agent compatible BCA assay, so you could opt for that if you have reducing agents such as DTT or TSEP in your samples. Now this is going to be a two-part question. What absorbance range can be used to read the Rapid Gold BCA? And does it have to be read only at 480 nanometers? Um, no, if your plate reader does not have the capability to read exactly at 480 nanometers, you could select the range. Uh, we have done a study and we think that anything from 470 nanometers all the way up to 530 nanometers can be used to um, can be used with the Rapid Gold BCA. Can Rapid Gold BCA be used to measure very low concentration samples like the micro BCA can? Uh, no, it's not as sensitive as a micro BCA. Um, uh, there is ways that we could uh, try to optimize the sample volume um, and try to get that kind of sensitivity, but the product as it is right now, uh, it's not as sensitive as the micro BCA assay. And if there are no more questions, I would like to once again thank Dr. Ganapathy for his presentation. I would also like to thank Thermo Fisher Scientific for making today's educational webcast possible. Before we go, I want to let everyone know that today's webcast will be available for on-demand viewing through September of 2019. Please share that with your colleagues who may have missed today's live event. That's all for now. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.